What up everyone, Zunobra here, back at it with another video. Today guys, we're gonna talk about The No Man's Sky, a game that just got launched by an indie uh, independent studio called Hell Games. And in this video guys, I'm gonna share basically my disappointment of this game ever since the launch. So I was really hyped and I pre-ordered this game as soon as I could. I am a PC gamer and I was really excited for it to come in PC. And for me, No Man's Sky was this game that, that was gonna go like insanely successful. It had amazing awards, amazing expectations, and because of the communication not being well, I mean a lot of people like me got overhyped. I thought it was gonna be an online video game that I could play with my friends, capture planets, fight for my planets, defend my planet, all that stuff. But in reality, after watching so many videos of it, so many streams on Twitch because of the hype of the launch, I realized that it was just not a game for me. Again guys, this is my opinion. If you're the type of person who likes this video game, I would suggest you to buy it, but hear me out. This game is overhype, and the founder literally told us that the game wouldn't be online for a while, and for now, it's not the case. People are talking about updates, how it's gonna come online, and that you're gonna be able to play with your friends, and that the, the version that just been launched, the version that costs $60, by the way, it's not an online game. So right now, I'm just criticizing and giving my thoughts and opinion about the launch version, the, the actual game that you can buy today. Not the updates, I'm not talking about the potential of the game because it could be an amazing game. I'm talking about as if you wanted to buy today. So besides that, I don't like this type of game. Like, you guys know me now, I love uh, esports, I love competitiveness, I, love, I like to be the best, I like to compete. And I feel like those games is a little bit in the same area of Diablo. Whereas Diablo, it's pretty much a hero that bash a lot of mobs unconditionally. Here, it's unconditional farming, 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 and it can be really, really boring. Planets are amazing, people are overhyped about the millions of possibly a species you can have. Well, as a little bit of knowledge and video games that I have, I'm pretty sure that's really simple to round out to 10 to 15 different planets that are just reused in different ways. Exactly the same thing for the species. That doesn't have a lot of things to do. So that's the way I see it. $60 guys should at least give me 30 to 40 hours of fun, but I feel that once you get into five to ten planets, things are gonna get really repetitive very fast and you might get bored of it really fast. But again, if you're the type of person that likes to explore new things, that is really into the artistic way of video games, you might love the video game, like a lot of people are, and I'm very happy for them. And it's just not my thing. But if you are this type of person that loves the, the artistic way of video games, that want to see new things, uh, that could go in a spaceship and travel in planets, discover new areas, new graphic, go for it. I would not suggest you to buy it if you are looking for a competitive game, if you're looking for a fun game. It, for me, right now, it is just farming 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 but because I don't want to only say bad things about this game let me give them appreciation and credit for the amazing work they did with graphics with optimization for ps4 etc etc despite a few bugs that's been reported and spammed onto reddit threads the game looks pretty cool and I've seen a lot of streamers uh, having so much fun on it that it gave me a little bit of hope Definitely the game has a lot of potential in terms of online perspective and future updates. The creators, Hello Gamers, can do a lot of hard work for a very successful game. They definitely have a foundation, but right now, I wouldn't say that the game that they offer right now is worth $60. That was a Zonobra from the Zona Post for a review of the No Man's Skies as a first impression. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.